guys doing in my oven? Come on guys, we, you gotta stop hiding in the nooks and crannies of my kitchen, hey? And also, the oven is really hot. I don't know if you've uh, realized by the amount of time that you spent in there. Uh, another bad joke aside, today I'm gonna be making kimchi and mac and cheese for my family to eat for lunch. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so I finished making my bechamel sauce uh, and it's become this very nice thick with a double C white sauce. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is adding in the cheese. Okay, so I've just added a shit ton of cheese. Uh, and I went ham pretty much, so I added in some tasty cheddar cheese, some parmesan cheese, and also some pecorino as well. Alright, your girl has got the goods. Uh, I think I've stuck up the entire house with this kimchi to be honest, because it is uh, it's a smelly one, but it is a delicious smelly one, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, we got our kimchi, and look, I, um, I kind of left it... Um, in a nice biteable chunk because I love a bit of texture, you know, but if you want to cut it up a bit more fine a bit more small and add that in the cheese sauce then uh, you do you boo you do a you. All right, so now it's time to add in our beautiful kimchi into our cheese sauce. Well, that was not aesthetically pleasing at all. <laughs> this sauce looks a lot more red in real life. Okay guys, I know this is a bit of a plot twist, but I had a bit of a taste. Um, I think it could use with a bit of this. So this is, um, I think this is called, now look, I'm gonna butcher this and I apologize if I offend Korea. I am so sorry. Gojang, gojujang, red pepper paste. It's a red pepper paste basically. And uh, it is spicy. You know it's fucking spicy when it's that dark, like, Anyways, we're going to be putting in um, maybe about a spoon of this in just to add a bit of kick, just to add a bit of spice. I'm going to give this a uh, bit of a taste now. Mm. Mm. So this is what I see when I look down at this delicious kimchi mac and cheese. And um, this is what that delicious kimchi mac and cheese sees when it looks at me. Okay, so I toasted some panko breadcrumbs with some butter and we're going to just sprinkle that on top for a bit of the crunch. Okay, so here we have a spoonful of our delicious kimchi mac and cheese uh, with a panko breading crumb on top. And also, I didn't film this part, but I did put some prosciutto pieces on top as well, just to give it that extra crunchy texture. So now it's time to dig in. All right, here we go, guys. This is the all important taste test. I love the crunchy texture on top and also that kimchi really cuts through the delicious cheeses. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it brought you a bit of uh, brightness in your day, especially when we're in isolation. Remember to take care of yourself and take care of your friends and family as well. And I hope you do well. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. I can leave you. I can I'm